You're on. Okay, so this is the uh, main gym, the McLean High School main gym. The nets are stored here, and this is the uh, storage area just off uh, the uh, hallway closest to the, the back entrance. Uh, and if you look inside there, again, poles are here on a rack, and our need is, of course, for setting up two nets, so we'll go ahead and take all the poles, so in case we get one, put it out. This bigger one is the center pole. Notice there's no ratchet either side, so that one has to go in the middle. So, let me find a key or whatever it is to pop it open, cover to the sleeve. Lie the net on in, or to pull on in. It's pretty straightforward. All right, back into the closet. We'll show you where the nets are stored. So if you walk in, the nets are stored back here. Uh, on the far side, they are actually uh, contained within the pads. So if you're setting up one net. You only, of course, need one pad and one net. But if, because we're doing two, we're going to bring both nets out and set them up. All right, why don't we uh, pull that and we'll start taking. All right, before we start taping. All right, that's what it is. All right, so uh, the actual, uh, these poles are higher than the ones in the aux gym. So uh, it's not well marked, uh, but the uh, location for the middle schoolers is right here at the second major markdown. Today we're gonna just do middle schooler, but if you're doing elementary school, you'd have to go another notch even further down with this. So let's go ahead and set it up here and crank it closed. All right, so uh, similar to all the other systems, we have the net contained within the pads. So just simply release the Velcro. Pull out the net. Uh, Steve Stotler is very good at how he organizes these nets. You notice that the bottom ratchet is slightly uh, connected in this cable. So the other thing to note is that one side is slightly shorter than the other side. The side, that, side that's slightly shorter connects to the side with the wrench. The wrench. All right. So the side with the wrench. This loops over the wheel. And this lock mechanism, just open it up. And that's it. It's that simple. Do the same on the other side. But this time, you notice the other side doesn't have a strap. It's the center pole, and the center pole has uh, basically two um, this little locking mechanism here you want to pull out the pin you want to connect it up there so this is going to take more strength than I've got so I'm going to <laughs> release some tension back on the other end first. So again this is the longer side the side that was shorter connects to the Wench down there. So what you want to do is you want to be able to put this pin through the metal loop like that. So if you look really closely, pin has gone through, the metal loop of the top cable is now connected. Next step is to go ahead and connect the bottom rope 
So again, this is just something very straightforward. Connect to the bottom. No need to pull it tight quite yet. Do it on the other side. Again, this is that connection like that. And now you can actually tighten it all up. We're going to wheel it down until it becomes the top becomes tight. step is just to pull until this is taut. And that is it. So again, we're going to set up just the one here on the camera. Just do the exact same process for the second net if you have to set up both nets simultaneously. Alright, good luck everyone.